Hi teens. I've been thinking a lot about um, cryptid creatures and urban legends. You know, characters like um, Bigfoot, Sasquatch, Loch Ness Monster, the Jersey Devil, Mothman, um, all those really cool creatures that you see in movies and that you read about. Um, so I had an idea to make um, a cryptid creature of my own. And here he is. That's kind of inspired by Mothman. And I just made this out of clay um, using a 24 hour uh, dry clay and uh, some paint. So what do you think about these cryptid creatures? Are they real or are they imaginary? I don't know. We've got some great books here at the library, though, so you can learn more about them. If you'd like to make a cryptid creature of your own, all you can do is just stop by the library and pick up a teen craft bag. So let's see what's inside. All right, so inside your bag, you'll find uh, a paper that tells you some of the cryptid creature legends that we hear about, just to kind of give you some inspiration for creating your own. We have um, a block of clay. And again, this is the kind of clay that dries in 24 hours. You don't have to bake it or anything like that. It's just cool clay. And there's also in your bag some Q-tips um, and some toothpicks that you can also use as well. So um, what you do to get started is just start thinking about a cryptid creature. You can make one um, that already exists like Bigfoot or like my Mothman, or you can use your imagination and come up with your own character, which is even cooler. Um, and you'll start after you get an idea in your head, um, you'll start with your clay and start pinching off pieces of your clay and kind of creating that basic overall shape. You want a shape that's going to be really simple, uh, not anything too complicated. You don't want like pieces breaking off of it. You want to just start with a basic solid shape. And um, as I was using this, um, you'll find that it's really pliable, very easy um, to use, very easy to create. And like I said, just start pinching off pieces, kind of pressing them and molding them into the shape that you want. And you'll get started that way. Some of the tools that I used that were very helpful uh, were toothpicks. Toothpicks are great to get like an outline of the shapes that you want or to create eyes or uh, detailed uh, things on your creature. So that was very uh, helpful. Um, also, I had some dental tools at home, some picks, um, and these are uh, metal and these are very sharp and excellent if you have these at home. Um, also to create shapes, uh, scales, wings, lines, fur, you know, those little detail things. So that was really helpful too. The Q-tips were great because if you dip these just in a little bit of water, um, it'll really help smooth your clay. So if you're finding that you've got a lot of cracks or pieces that don't want to join well, just get a little damp and just smooth it through the clay and oh my gosh, it helps so much um, to keep everything firm and to, to uh, you know, join pieces together. So use your imagination, create uh, whatever you want to create. Um, when you feel like you're about done with it, you just set it aside for 24 hours. Don't touch it. Just leave it alone. And then after that, it's really time to paint. You can use markers. Um, I've got some paint markers here that were fabulous. Or you can use acrylic paint. Uh, just really whatever you've got at home. Um, use fine thin brushes, again, to reach those small detail areas. And uh, 
yeah, I enjoyed using the clay. I thought it was really fun. You definitely can be creative with this project. Make whatever is on your mind, whatever you envision. Think about, think about heads, arms, legs, wings, tail, you know, things like that. Um, it's really, really fun. And again, all you need is just the teen craft bag and uh, some paints or markers that you may have at home. If you find that you don't have any kind of paints or markers um, to finish your creature, just pop in the library and we can let you borrow some of ours. That is no problem. Okay? So have fun and while you're at it, watch a um, movie or read a book um, about those cryptids and uh, see what you can find out. Let me know if you think they're real or if they're imaginary. Thanks you guys so much for joining me today and we'll see you next time.